Hey guys, TRG here. I'm going to give you a quick, you know, review on the T-32. It's um, probably one of the best American tanks at Tier 4. Uh, at Tier 4, you pretty much face, well, uh, you face a lot of stuff. You face t 10 ms but most of the time, you get to face the, the Germans. And the Germans get the Tiger II. And, you know... Tiger II doesn't have very much frontal, you know, it has good frontal armor, but its turrets are really flat. So, with its, with the T-32's main gun, you can, you know, go right through with the T this M82 shot right here, which is, should be your first shot you unlocked. I swear, if you don't unlock this shot first, you are stupid, <laughs> or just deranged, one of the two. But this shot will... It is your bread and butter of this tank. This, it, it's just great. It's like, it goes in there, it does its job, it kills them, great. Either one or two shots normally. Normally only one shot, but yeah. <clears throat> now some people don't like, I've had a couple friends who tell me they don't like this tank just because of, you know, this hull armor right here, 170, 27, but yeah, 127 sloped at 54 about 180 so about 180 and most of the time you want to be sloping this like this where you know this is about 300 and this is like 100 almost 200 like I normally run about this angle right here which is probably bad I should be running about this angle yeah but yeah if you once you start sloping this tank like angling I mean I'm slope I'm going crazy <laughs> sorry angling you pretty much become invulnerable. If you go hold down, you got this 300 millimeters of mantle, mantle right here, and then you have a um, another 300 behind that. So pretty much, you cannot kill this thing from the front. You can hit this. I have been killed right here before, but it takes a lot of freaking skill, and you have to normally be above to hit this where it will go through. So pretty much, you should have just been shooting right here, or right here, or right here. But yeah, pretty much this tank is, okay, good, it's great, well, it's great. You have no idea, I even bought a freaking talisman for it, because I love it that much. But, yeah. Uh, one thing you do need to be worried about is AA. If AA gets behind you, you're fucked. Yeah, 72 millimeters of armor, it will not stop a Kugel Blitz. I think a Kugel Blitz has more, but I've been killed by Kugel Blitz in this thing, so let's see. Kugel Blitz, Kugel Blitz, Kugel Blitz, 60... Yeah, they do. They have a round that will go right through your tank, and the side armor at least, and the side of your turret, I think. But, yeah, so, it's it's a great tank. I would suggest this over this tank right here. Suggest it a lot more. I suggest you go down this tank right here. This tank is not the best. It is decent. You will fight Tiger 2s in this thing. But, yeah, I mean, like, this tank should be where everyone wants to go in this tier. I mean, you might want this, you want this tank, but it's a grind. This is also a grind. This, once you get it and get the M82 shot, it is a freaking heaven. It is heaven, bro. You, j j you just want it. You must have this tank. I swear, if you don't get, if people who play the American line go down the M26 line first, I'm going to go, you're crazy? And why did you never play the Jumbo? The Jumbo is great. The Jumbo is like what you should expect. This is what the Jumbo kind of trains you for the T-32. But the T-32 has this awesome 90mm gun right here. This 90mm gun, oh my gosh, it's like, you know, just glorious. Glorious! Yes, it's glorious. Anyway, I would show you some games, but I don't have any saved, but I will do a bigger in-depth review later, maybe. Oh, I mean, it depends on how this goes. But, yeah, I, I do plan on doing a more in-depth review of this tank, give you some history on it, like corny bros do, that's the same as, like, I kind of like how they do it, but I didn't see, it. I haven't seen one of these, this tank for them, so I guess I'll do it, but yeah, that's gonna be all guys, TRG out.